Good morning, good morning, good morning, movers. Today, we are running an unknown amount of mileage because I'm just trying to get to this place, this greenway that I know. I don't exactly know how many miles it is. It's under four though. This is my first run post marathon. So I think today is day three after the marathon. My legs feel okay. My breathing feels unusually labored, but we'll see how I feel with more days out after. I'll see you guys when we get to the Greenway. I'm at a mile and a half already. Okay, so I've made it by the Greenway. Let me show you guys. Over there, the green strip for bikers, runners. But there's a nice little park over here that I want to run in. I'm hearing in my ears that I've already made the two mile mark, but I want to go to the park, so it's going to be a run longer than four miles today. Not really what I wanted, but that's okay. So I made it guys to the park that I wanted to get to. I wanted to do some monkey bars today, but I don't see any here. Now that I'm done with the marathon, well, I think I am, maybe not. Um, I want to focus on upper body. I want to focus on other things, not running related. I want to focus on strength workouts. Uh, for some reason, when I turned 32 this year, during a pandemic, really, I thought about so many things that I wanted to do. I mean, this channel was born out of the pandemic. Um, and I just want, I feel like I've been missing out in life. So, not the bad kind. I'm not having a midlife crisis or anything. <laughs> I just want to do more things that are physical so stay tuned I got a whole bunch of things I want to try out to see what's gonna actually be for me I think when I get home we're gonna talk more about the recap of the marathon maybe we should just do it here yeah I think we'll just do it here So yeah guys, let's do a really quick and dirty recap of the marathon. So I know to a lot of you guys, <laughs> I looked angry during that run, didn't I? But I promise you, I promise you, I was not angry. Um, getting lost, definitely, what they say, what is the phrase? Chaps my hide. It definitely chapped my hide. <laughs> so, I did not go into it expecting I was going to be lost. I thought there was going to be a lot of, uh, I don't want to be ungrateful. There were a lot of volunteers out there. But the thing is, I didn't know anyone. I didn't know not one person there. So that played a part in not exactly uh, having the best time directionally um the the woman who uh who convinced me to run the marathon she actually started much earlier and i thought i was gonna see her there but i didn't well i saw her on the course but uh that was at like mile i don't even know 15 i think is when i saw her so i was already really underway already and it just, <laughs> I just had a time in my head. I wanted to do, I wanted to complete my first marathon in under four and a half hours. And I thought this was gonna be it because there isn't an organized marathon coming up soon. I think I'm gonna map out my own like 
really soon from now and just do it again and see how I fare because if I'm honest with you guys if I'm honest if I'm honest <laughs> I think I can do better than the time that I did uh, it was five and a half hours an hour more than um, I thought that I you know would do so if I'm crazy enough <laughs> I want to try to run another marathon before the year is out because I just want to prove to myself that I can do it in the time that I thought I was going to do my first one in. So don't be mad at me guys. Don't think I'm, you know, egotistical or anything. <sighs> I just know what kind of training I've put in and you know I just got my own goals guys I wasn't disappointed with myself and my time it's just not what I wanted and not what I had in my head so that's all um thank you to Gisela she's the one who <laughs> roped me into the marathon she is uh she is literally one of the most amazing people I've ever met um, I think this was her 35th marathon she is a beast okay <laughs> one of the other ladies that I ran with uh, her name is Z she is also a beast I mean and these are black women who I can look up to who look just like me and they give me the confidence that I can do it too and even, I'm not gonna say their ages <laughs> I'm not gonna get in trouble for y'all um, even when I get up there in age, I can still be running as much as my body will let me. And age is really just a number in some aspects. <laughs> so yeah, let me stop rambling. I had a great experience. Um, I really thought I was gonna be one and done with the marathon, but I'm not. <laughs> I am really impatiently kind of looking forward to the next one. So yeah, guys, I've been talking way too much. I'm gonna get this run done, guys. See you later with the stats, cause I know you guys like stats. Here are my stats. I started out much faster than I wanted to. I wanted to keep the pace around 10 minutes cause it's supposed to be a recovery run. All right, I'm back home. The run felt pretty good. So a couple things real quick before we end the video i did want to say um I'm, i don't want to act like my body feels amazing after uh the marathon so my right leg my right side of my body seems to have taken the brunt of the day um i just think it's because that's my dominant side so obviously it works a little bit harder uh so down to my toes my knee actually feels good something's <laughs> something's been up with my knees they've been feeling real good i'm not gonna question it but <laughs> my hip and my lower back when i showed you guys uh during the marathon and my shoulders those are the things that uh are still a bit sore they're not as sore as they were the day after the marathon which i was my hip pain was on like an eight or a nine um, that has subsided well to like a two maybe so but it's still there um, so those things I'm hoping get better as you know we move away from the day this is a small look into how I'm feeling after my first marathon I'm not feeling so bad I can only thank God for that so thanks guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.